Hey guys, it's Jaeger262, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Now, I know I don't really post a lot of World of Tanks videos, I've only done one so far. It's mostly Armored Warfare, but this is the first tank game I ever played. It's a game I play a lot of. I love World of Tanks. Well, I used to love World of Tanks, I don't love it anymore. It's complicated. And the only reason I'm making this video is not only because I've been drinking, but <laughs> it's because today is the first day that they've released their American Challenge. I said all my Armored Warfare players who have never played World of Tanks, even though a lot of you have, it's really funny, a lot of Armored Warfare players that I engage with come from World of Tanks. They get tired of the toxic community or the toxic way that the game operates or they're upset with something, so they go to Armored Warfare. And I'll get into reasons why later in this video. But for those of you who have never played it, every time they release a new premium vehicle that nobody asked for, they do a mission marathon. And so what that means is unlike in Armored Warfare, premium vehicles in World of Tanks actually give you combat advantages. Or at least they used to. They're trying to stop that now and just make them interesting vehicles that are kind of weird but a lot of them give you combat advantages, make you do better. Obviously, just like in Armored Warfare, you get more credits, you get more experience playing them. But they're really hard to kill, depending on what it is. And so they just released the S5. So I'm going to click into the American Challenge. Oh, man, it's like, anyway, the S5 is this super heavy American tank destroyer that they're putting in a tier 8. Again, it's a premium nobody asked for. And like some of their vehicles but not all of them the s5 is one of the coolest examples of a vehicle that comes off of blueprints that was never seen in combat like the chrysler k or the scorpion oh wait no i'm wrong i'm sorry the s5 never existed this rimental scorpion never existed these armored <laughs> armored warfare does skins and like weird cool vehicles that they don't want to make progression for them but world of tanks does interesting vehicles that are either blueprints or never existed like the s5 and that's what their premium tanks are and now you can see it there with its slat armor <laughs> which didn't exist in world war ii the best they had was screen armor which the germans and soviets invented um just being overpowered now from what i hear about this vehicle it's not actually an overpowered tank destroyer it plays pretty similarly to other high tier american super heavy tank destroyers so nothing to worry about there in world of tanks sometimes premiums can be overpowered however since there's not a lot of hype for this vehicle there's not a lot of intrigue there's not a lot of interest in the s5 or the ts5 Armored, um, sorry, not Armored for World of Tanks will do these mission marathons. And so what it is, is like you're looking at, I'm already at stage two. All you do is you play the game a lot and it gives you a discount on the vehicle. Now every tier, you get 10 tiers, is 10% discount. So obviously if you reach tier 10, that's 100% discount and you get the TS5 for free. And the reason this is really cool and interesting is that it allows players a chance to get premium vehicles for free it's really why world of tanks is doing that and for all the shit i just gave them for all the shit that everybody gives them and what i'll give them in the future for overpowered premium tanks that have really ruined the game which is one of the reasons why people go to armored warfare because premiums aren't op there this is a good way to kind of bridge that gap quell the use of premium vehicles or wallet warriors really going out and just seal clubbing teams and that's why i'm making this video i haven't done a mar mission marathon in its entirety since the t3485 m and there's been a lot since then we just did an ebr one there was a zoo 131 just a bunch i don't play them i don't really play world of tanks a lot anymore because it's changed so much since i was playing it way back in 2013 but this is a mission marathon i decided i was going to do just to see if i could get the ts5 and play the vehicle and see how it's going and just to get back into world of tanks um 
I haven't really done a lot with it. So if you're a World of Tanks player and you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. But for all my Armored Warfare people, this game's a little bit different. It's got a... And the reason I keep coming back to it now, it's... The community in World of Tanks is toxic to an extent. I don't think it's that bad. It used to be pretty bad, but I don't think it's that bad anymore. Um, the way premium tanks work means that everybody has to use premium ammo, but World of Tanks has now made premium ammo for credits, or worth credits, that way people who don't have a lot of gold can use it. So they've done a lot of things to kind of change how everything operates. But basically, what makes it different than Armored Warfare is that the economy is a lot more rigorous you don't make as much for battles and the higher you go the harder it is and that's true for armored warfare but it's extreme here it's very hard to make money at high tiers now with all the different new tanks they've added both progression and premium without firing you know premium rounds and so that's why a lot of people feel like it's some controversial decisions are added to heavy tanks and just how the mechanics have changed to artillery to those heavy tanks, to penetration, blocks, everything. It's controversial. So, Armored Warfare is constantly evolving. Not Armored Warfare, sorry. World of Tanks is constantly evolving. And it's, you know, it's a process. And not everybody likes it. I've personally quit, just straight up quit and left World of Tanks f three or four times now. Um, and that's how I started playing Armored Warfare a lot for the past year. I just went to that because World of Tanks with Update 1.0, at least for me, the game became unplayable. It was a little bit hard, even with my computer setup, which is really great. And they fixed this kinks, and it's working fine now. But it was just bad, so I started playing Armored Warfare instead. However, the reason I come back to World of Tanks time and time again, and why p other players continue to play this game, is it is really unique and that's what I'm hoping to show you in these while I do this marathon and while I do this gameplay it's got a unique feel and unique look sound and for anybody who's a real big fan of World War II tanks like I am World of Tanks is really amazing there's a lot of problems with the game there's a lot of issues but I love it I ultimately love it and so today I'm gonna run this marathon I'm gonna make videos of this marathon and see if I can just get the TS5 and if not, just show my Armored Warfare fans some, or welcome World of Tanks players to the channel just to show people what World of Tanks is like, what it's about, um, how it feels, how it plays, and maybe get some people to play it. It's not my favorite game anymore. It's not a great game anymore, but it is a game that I've put more time into than any other vehicle simulator at all. It's the longest game I've ever played and I love it so I hope you guys will watch this watch these videos watch this new series that I'm doing on the American challenge it's only 10 days so expect maybe 10 or 20 videos that's it and maybe I'll get some people to you know get into World of Tanks so stick with me thank you so much for watching thank you for the support on my armored warfare side and I hope that you support the World of Tanks side too stay tuned for this mission marathon and for the games that follow Thank you so much and see you, well, later, <laughs> hopefully in the video, I'll be playing, but I hope you and you find through these videos what makes World of Tanks so unique and what makes it such an enjoyable game, so thank you. Sorry about that, the game literary service that records what's going on and what's ruining and it's always like oh there's a there's a um client error or oh you couldn't load into the game because the my at the a um war gaming client is bad however i've gone to support for three years now trying to figure it out figure out why this is happening and every time they're always like well it's not the client it's your computer or your computer can't handle it I'm like, it's not true my computer runs every client but war gaming will never admit that it's the client <laughs> because Okay, so we made it to the position that I want it to be in. There's another KVIS, and uh, we're back in the game, so let's just punish them. Kill them straight off. See, that's great. I mean, I don't really like being left out of a game for this long and having to, like, load back into it, but we just killed that KV-85. This was not even looking, so we're going to put a shot at him for 212. 
I'm gonna bounce the T67 and just get right back into World of Tanks. Unlike Armored Warfare, if you get like locked out of a game, you don't get back into it. We just hit him for 276, and now it's just high octane. We're full back into the game. Firing just at 722 damage inside of 30 seconds, which is one of the reasons why I love this vehicle. Yeah, that chaffy better get the fuck out of here. And it looks like my team is winning. So we did miss a lot, but not so much so that we're not going to actually have an impact on this game. We are going to be able to help our team. We are going to be able to just do some stuff. We took a huge, huge 365 damage hit from the other KB-85. He's using the 122mm. And sorry if I'm just like rushing through this and kind of yelling at you guys. But anytime that the game crashes and I have to load back into a game or into a situation where the enemy are on top of me like this, I kind of just like go full, full throttle. And that's how World of Tanks is. We're going to try to snipe a sniper. And we miss. I don't know. You, you shouldn't snipe in Russian tanks. Not in, not in World of Tanks. But you know, it's worth a shot. It's a long shot at the best. Pun intended. And so yeah, we're only able to be in this game for like a minute at the most. But even at a minute, we still did 722 damage. And we were able to kinda help our team. Obviously, we could have done more if we had just not crashed, but mm, oh well. Whatever. What are you going to do about it? Let's see what the po I doubt that we made enough experience in those <laughs> seconds. Um... Good credit pool, I guess. 14,000 for tier 6. I mean, I'll take it, but like. Let's look at the team. Let's look at where our experience is. Oh! No way! So, <laughs> uh, that counted, it didn't. It should have. It did! Alright, so another reason I love the KV 85. We were out of the game in terms of trying to get it to load back up after the crash for a minute and then the game only lasted a minute when we got back and we were still able to complete the mission so the KV-85 is just a good just a good tank if you're looking for the line to go down if you play World of Tanks like oh hey what, what nope wrong button oh what should I do when I'm doing you know when I'm in the KV-1 should I go to the KV-IS KV-85 all the way down KV-13IS or should I just do like the, the you know T-50 line I've done both I uh, see the KV-3 is one of my favorite tanks Another thing that differentiates World of Tanks from Modern Warfare is that to make more money in, uh, through gold sales, they limit your garage space. So you have to buy premium currency to get more garage space, whereas in Armored Warfare, you get unlimited spaces. So because I have to sell a lot of great vehicles, so the vehicles you see here, if you're from Armored Warfare and you're watching it, these are not my favorite vehicles. These are not cool vehicles. They're just grinds. You have to sell all the cool ones. And the KV-3... The KV is one of my favorite vehicles. The T-150 was one of my favorite heavy tanks of all time. I'd have to sell both of them. And the KV-13 was another one that was really incredible. All these tanks are great. So if you do the KV-1 and go straight into the T-150 and the KV-3 and the KV-4, you're going to have a great time. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. But the T-150, you got to grind a lot before it becomes really good. Whereas, if you just go straight into the KV-IS, which is easier to do, less experience to go from Tier 5 to Tier 5 and then grind to this not only is this a great vehicle but the kv-13 in its own right is an amazing vehicle and so that's honestly i went from the a43 medium tank landed it backwards i went medium tank medium tank then to is heavy tank to the is3 and then got the kv-85 which i had already owned from before the tech tree changed to look like this and the kv-85 didn't really line up anywhere so i had already had it but i never played it now i'm playing it again just because and I love it. It's a great tank. So we're gonna try, we're gonna get to another game and just try to grind out stage two. Sorry for that long tech tree aside there, but I feel like the KV-85 is one of those vehicles that gets passed over at tier six, but it's between the IS and eventually the IS3, which are two really great tanks, and the KV-1, which is a great tank in its own right. But it's worth it's worth the stop. It's worth the stop, and I own this now. 
even though it's fully researched, just because I like it so much. If I had more garage slots, I would get all of the big tanks already. Just absolutely incredible vehicles all the way around. And of course, anybody who is a World of Tanks player knows Soviet bias, Russian bias, it's real, it's in this game, and that's why they're so good. Um, nah, they're, they're just good on their own. I'm not saying that Soviet bias isn't real. It's definitely there. These tanks have crazy armor values and stuff. That guy wants support. I'm gonna say, n okay, alright, he really wants to support bad. I don't know why. <sighs> Throw up an affirmative. Let's go support the tier 6 German tank. Because that's how it is when you got German tanks. You take control of everything. He wants that Stalinium on his side. Anyway, the Russian <laughs> the, the, the Russian bias is a huge joke in World of Tanks. I'm sure it's a joke in War Thunder, or maybe even Armored Warfare, because they're all Russian-based games and studios. Um, in this game, it used to be really bad, but right now it's pretty balanced. Like it, at this point in World of Tanks, it's just a joke. It's a good joke, so I keep playing Russian vehicles. But, it is nothing more than a joke, so don't worry about it if you're from Armored Warfare and you want to play World of Tanks but you're too afraid of, like, uh, if I go any other line but Russian, I'll get obliterated. You won't. There's, there's equally overpowered vehicles per line. The Czechs have amazing medium tanks that are OP. The Swedes have great tank destroyers. The Russians have great heavies. The Americans have great mediums and great tank destroyers, you know? So it just depends. The French have amazing light tanks. So each country has its OP branch that is used to, you know, just make that nation excel. So, you know, getting World of Tanks experience it is pretty great. The Italians have really strong medium tanks, and they're a new, they're a new country. I hope I don't get dirt by one of these guys. Oh, he's not even looking. Okay, he saw me. The KV-2 is one of the most feared tanks in this game, and in all games that the KV-2 appears. Did I hit him? No. That's a miss. That's another thing that Soviet tanks are known for in World of Tanks, is they have terrible aim time and terrible accuracy. Uh, but I'll take the spotting damage. You know, I'm getting some spotting damage here. These kv Oh, nice. Didn't think I was going to make that shot, but pick up the kill in the KV-2, and now this KV-85 is going to try to come around here and fire on me. He's firing, let's see, he's using, oh, he's using the 100mm that I'm using. Okay. I'm get tracked by a Hellcat. Uh, I don't use repair kits, that's another thing I don't do in this game. This is similar to Armored Warfare, I don't... I don't use repair kits. You should. Any good player will tell you to use repair kits and World of Tanks that way. You don't get shredded because, in all honesty, I should have completely just ended just now by that KV-2. But I wasn't. Nobody else fired on me, so I got lucky. But getting tracked in World of Tanks is super dangerous. It's way more dangerous than in Armored Warfare because you got snipers like that. And there's the artillery. Unlike Armored Warfare, Artillery is allowed to play with the other players because of that PVE artillery in Armored Warfare. Here, you get stunned by artillery, you get locked down by artillery. It's bad. It's bad. This is <laughs> artillery is one of the reasons why people leave World of Tanks, honestly. But there's nothing you can do about it, so I try not to let it bother me. Continuing to get hammered by artillery, I'm out in the open in a heavy tank. Their medium tanks have made their way to our cap. We're behind on kills, we're behind on points, and I get sniped by the Hellcat. So, for only one kill and 400 damage, this was not a good game for the KV-85. Uh, way worse than the last game we just played. And that's kind of how, that's kind of how World of Tanks is. It's, um, and Armored Warfare is a little bit like this too, but 
you just have to pay attention. You have to have battlefield awareness. You have to like really know what you're doing. And as you can see there, I just kind of like charged into it, like what the fuck ever. <laughs> After killing that KV-2 and hitting the KV-85, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just pulled back and waited for my team to move up and spot the Hellcat. And I would have avoided getting hit by artillery. It looks like one, two, three plus times, maybe four, because I wasn't hit by the M44 only. But that's how it goes, that's what happens. At least in World of Tanks, in Armored Warfare, you guys, you know, we're lucky in Armored Warfare. We have no concept of what artillery could do to us. Um, except in September of this year, I think, September, October, developers at Armored Warfare wanted to test how players would react to having actual artillery in the game. And um, they allowed for global operations for a three-day testing period. Anybody with artillery to play global ops. And it was brutal. It was devastating. It was just like World of Tanks. It was intense. So for me, I don't like artillery. I don't like the fact that artillery is a big part of the game here. But, you know, to each of their own. Some people really like artillery. Although, from what I hear, even artillery players are not happy with the changes that were made because it used to be before they added this crazy stuff it used to be not you you get hit by already that was it you were dead now artillery does less damage faster and that was their way to fix it so instead of just doing a thousand damage in one shot it'll maybe do 200 every shot and it's fire slightly faster and the added damage quote unquote with targets you won't be able to fire as fast, you won't be able to move as fast, that kind of thing. It's shitty, it makes artillery allegedly nerfed. But I think I think it makes them OP. Can one of you FedEx guys just shoot me now? I don't want to be a red at that when pussies die. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright, so, our artillery, this is what I mean, see, this is what I'm saying, this, our artillery is already upset with existing, and doesn't want to be here, and somebody <laughs> did shoot him, um, I'm, I'm happy I started talking about this at this time, so yeah, apparently artillery players are very, very unhappy with the changes. Which is funny because I'm super unhappy with the changes and I don't play artillery. I just hate artillery. So I'm, it's good to know that we're both upset. But for me, I'm like, mm, they shouldn't fix artillery, they should just remove it. And I'm sure the artillery players just want to be able to one-shot people again. Which one of you useless cum slipping queer shot me and didn't kill me? <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. Alright, so I've never seen people like that in Armored Warfare, but... We have some interesting characters in World of Tanks. This is crazy. Or if you saw my team killer video in um, Armored Warfare, we have we have them there too. Every game has some weirdos, but this is insane. <laughs> this guy really just wants to die. I can't believe it. Anyway, we spotted, or we didn't spot, but we there's an IS playing in this position. He's doing exactly what I'm doing, and I'm just waiting for him to poke his head out again. Uh, so I can take this shot. Using the 122, my bloom is huge, as you can see right there. So there's no such thing as an accurate shot with this gun. So I'm just trying to like. Oh, fucking Jesus! The T29 is right there, and a Yog Panther shoots us. I'm gonna pull back for a little. I just did the opposite of what I should do. I should have moved up and fired while he was reloading. Alright, we hit the IS for 454, and then already hits us for 19, and the T29 hits us for 330, and now we're in a 10 second reload. So yeah, damage is done. The games here go way faster than PvP games in Warfare. It's, these games are intense. I love the tanks.
Like, now I am alone, I'm completely encircled, there's no hope of my survival. I'm just gonna try to do damage. The Leo's not stupid enough to move out. The Progetto 46 is gonna just auto-load my ass and kill me. Yep, that's it. Game fucking over. And so the reason this happened is because there was no support on the O-line. They all went one line, which is where, where, you know, and I'm not disparaging my team here. It's where heavies usually go. And so for me and two, the two other heavies here, all three of the heavies that are dead now, to push the O-line, we kind of left them in the open. And so, you know. What the fuck did he just say? So I asked you to use this concept for one thing, but the only thing you are good at is losing and sucking dick. He's not wrong, we're gonna lose this game. Uh, we completely lost the flank to the east there. Um, and the T-34 is all alone because our British tier 8 heavy tank isn't doing anything. He's being complete. What the fuck is he doing? He's shooting rocks. Fuck this guy. Whoever the hell is playing this vehicle right now, just fuck him. But <laughs> we are we are gonna probably lose this game. And oh well. I mean it's nothing to get butt hurt about, like I I majorly misplayed by hesitating and not supporting my tank fast enough. The team misplayed by sending all of its heavies, or well, they didn't send them, by all the heavy tanks, myself included, to the O line, which is where we shouldn't have been. So, yeah, you know. A loss is a loss. It happens. What knows what type of player you are? Yeah, he's not any type of player. This RT20's on top of this. On top of this arty fool. They're harder. Weirder. <laughs> in terms of that one guy. Than Armored Warfare PvP, but... I like it. I earned a reward. I earned... Sushi. Sweet, I'll take it. Duty comes first, universal fragment of blueprints, and what the fuck? Wilhelm Berghoff, an old school German officer, experienced and well trained, irreproachable in carrying out his line of duty, of Nordic character, self possessed, single, no discrediting liaisons. I have no idea what the fuck this is. <laughs> So they've implemented a new reward system in World of Tanks. I I don't know. I I have no idea what to do with that crew information. Fucking no idea. Let's see if that match counted or not. It did. All right, I'll take it. Not a lot, but it counted. Slow going here, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna just probably not play the IS anymore. I'm gonna sit on this a little bit. I'm gonna try to figure out what that crew guy is. Let me see if I can put him in one of my tigers. Is that what I'm gonna figure it out. I'll come back to this and we'll continue doing some World of Tanks missions. All right, so I think I figured it out. Their new crew skins, some of them based on real people, some of them just stupid. Um, how do I custom personal file? So I sh crew skins. There it is. It'll be under a new tab, and my new crew skin is this guy. And basically, all it does is nothing except for change my stops felt variable all win moment image to this 
I don't know, fucking guy wearing a monocle, so <laughs> I'm not going to change him. But, you know, if you wanted to, you could do that. If you win those in the game, for anybody that plays World of Tanks, go ahead, do that. It's cool. You get skins for your crew now. I did not know that. I'm learning something new every day. Alright, and this mission marathon continues on strong with the KV-85 at Ensk. Oh, yeah, finally. One of my favorite maps in the game. And for anybody who's like, oh, this is a good map for world, of, you know, for heavy tanks or for, you know, I can scout, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to think. I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know what you think I'm going to do. But if you're watching my Armored Warfare videos, you know I don't play well or right. So I'm going to be taking my KV-85 straight down the fucking middle. I don't care what tank I'm in. I always do the same thing. That's why I never learn. I never learn. The World of Tanks tries to help you, like this spawn point is clearly telling me, hey, go in the city and support the city, but actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to support the city, I'm going to regret doing this and changing my, changing my shit up, but, what the hell, I'll support the city, what have you They have a KV-85, and I think that's an M6? KV-85 and a VK-3 3001P and then a BTR. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm, I'll be safe in the city. We got a KV-2. We'll be good. That'll be good. Oh, there's a T-43. A nasty Russian medium tank. I'm just gonna not even engage him. It seems like my team's doing a pretty good job taking care of him. I'm gonna get right behind this Italian tank. Ooh. I wish I knew he him. I can't see out there. Oh, the dicker mocks. Oh, and I'm on fire. Oh, I learned my lesson. Oh, great. Oh, great. If we survive this fire, that means um, 15 second reload now. Wow, got the ammo rack on that poor son of a bitch. And the Dicker Max is still trying to hit me for some reason. He's being a jerk. KB2 just derped the fuck out of there, French Heavy. Oh my god, I let the Dicker Max hit me again. I hit him. He's gonna kill me though. Will it be worth it? No, it won't be. What a waste of a tank. This has been a terror. This is why I don't play the city. This is why I never go in the city on angst. There's always some stupid tank destroyer that just fucking sits in the back. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm one of only two kills. I fucking hate that bullshit. Straight up. But hey, at least it's a win. At least we'll win. I guess there's that. I'm gonna watch the Aerozot M10 do its thing. One of the coolest and best tier 7 medium tanks. I used to have one, it was very cool, it was very dope. I'm gonna watch it go to work here. Oh, and there's a Pudo, another one of my favorites. Another panther too. Man, that's pretty much the game. Let's see if this Yog Panther. Yog Panther, sorry, not Panther. Oh, there he is. He doesn't. It. So there you go, there's the game, and I'm pretty sure that that was a loss for us. Or a loss for me, rather, personally. Uh, I don't think that contributed to the mission at all. Now with an automatic fire extinguisher. Always, always, always do that. Always do that. Get an award for ammo racking a guy. 
team score. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm in the top 10 there. We'll see. Was what, what, 1666 last time? It did count. Alright. I'm bad at math, so that worked. Alright, I don't even care. It worked out. I got my XP. It's all good. Not a good game. Don't play like that, but... Hey, at least I got what I, you know, what I came here for. It's taking me a little bit longer to complete. It only took me about 30 minutes to do the first stage, 30 minutes to do the second stage. It's taking me longer than 30 minutes, obviously, to do it, even though I'm consistently top tier my KV-85. And it'll only get longer from here, but I'm hoping that I can complete this mission marathon all the way through. I mean, I might sell it for the garage slot, but I doubt it. I, I, I like to collect tanks. <sighs> Alright, let's go to the typical heavy location around B4, B5. We're gonna follow the other KV-85. He's, I think, also using the 100? No, he's using the 85. What a punk. Keep the 85, using that 85mm guns. Ridiculous, that's not accurate. Get out of here. Just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> but, uh... I'm just gonna follow him. Whatever he does. I like how I'm almost catching up to him. But we go the same speed, so I don't know how that's possible. Unless I have, like, a better engine. We got a KV-2, a KV-85, an M6, and oof, already at these at this position. So it's going to be a pretty bad brawl, I think. Me thinks this will end badly for us. <coughs> I'm going to try to like skirt around this ship here, see if I can catch my enemy unawares, like. Nice. Got him. I'll take the 254 damage. Come on. Come on, pop back out. You know you want to do it. Oh, yeah. Sherman's going to move up. Nope. Really? Nothing's going to move up? Okay. I don't be the one that moves up. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I think it's pretty apparent from my gameplay that I don't really care what happens to my tank. I got such a defeatist attitude when it comes to all the tanks. It's like anything might as well happen. Ooh, he was looking for me. He was ready. I'm just trying to get him to like shoot me. not going for it. Oh, here he goes. He's fully loaded now. And he fires his main gun. Wow. I didn't think I was going to get tracked. That is Again, this is why you should have a repair kit, because now he's just going to keep hitting me for damage. Oh, shit. Back up, back up, oh fuck. Requesting fire, please god, do something. Yeah, see, this is why you should carry repair kit, you should care what happens to your tank. Hey guys, sorry I didn't get to see the end of that game. Needless to say, I died right after that KV-2 round at the corner. Um, both of us missed, but the M4 killed me, but it did count towards the mission. I just learned, and the reason you're not going to be able to see what happened, that every time World of Tanks crashes, which is done a bunch of times today, the video recording of World of Tanks also gets completely wiped because of the crash. So there's going to be a lot of gaps in this video. So if you say this long, and you're like, wow, why is everything so fucking weird? Or why isn't this edited right? Well, that's why. I didn't know that until just now when I tried to go back to the videos and see. 
every time World of Tanks crashes, the video gets deleted. So I think there's only two major gaps right now. But bear with me. I apologize. I didn't know. And I have no control over what World of Tanks is going to do. I have no idea when the client's just going to crash or not. Just to get back into this game to record this part, it took five tries. Um, and again, I can't tell you what what's wrong with World of Tanks or why that happens. But again, it's only the war gaming client. My computer allegedly hates it according to the experts. It's just my computer doesn't like it, so it self implodes, but yeah, so anytime that it crashes, um the video is gone. Hopefully that won't happen this time around with this explanation. So we'll see. But I'm gonna continue on with my KV eighty five. So let's get back into battle here. Really sucks, like <laughs> again since like all through been trying to figure out why the world it tanks client or why the wargaming client rather doesn't want to operate on my computer properly and no one's ever been able to tell me for a two month period I couldn't get into World of Warplanes at all like it just wouldn't work no idea one guy told me to just get a new computer and reinstall the drivers and I was like how the hell is that oh well alright I'm just gonna go up on the actual cliff like most heavies do, I guess. Or no heavies do, they usually play that two line, but I'm gonna go up, swing around, hopefully, and play the three or four lines. Well you can't really play the four line, but I'm gonna play the three line. And again, hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully I can get through this entire game unscathed. I mean, we've had a pretty good day so far. Again, it's only two major gaps, so, you know, knock on wood, right? And we've had a good day mission-wise. It's taking longer than expected. Way longer. I mean, the first mission took me, I think I said 30 minutes, right? So, this is obviously longer than that, but... Nice, I'll take the 226 hit on that guy. I hate how the damage stacks, that way if you're everybody shooting it at once, like it just did, it shows that I hit it for like 528, which is why I whistled there, but it's only, only 226 added to all the other damage combined to make 528. Alright, so I'm going to go play with the light to mediums play for some reason in my heavy thing, because I'm just not confident enough to like go face the other KV-85 or the OI. So I'm just going to play over here, see see what I can see, see what I can do, crushing statues, and I'm gonna hit this crop well, no I'm not, thank god, leave that kind of creep in my life, I'm gonna move up, gonna attack this stupid Italian tank, oh shit, the Zoo 100 is coming up, oh shit, the Tog 2 is coming, oh god, oh god, oh god, what shall we, I have no gun depression whatsoever, it's a rocket Oh my god, I feel so bad. I'm, this guy's trying to just back up. I want him to back up. But like... Fuck! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I really didn't think that was going to be possible. I thought he didn't have a shot. And he's using gold. Or premium. I'm just going to back the fuck up and get hard. Nope, I'm not. Not gonna get arty saved. Oh, now I'm getting even less arty saved. Killed that Italian tank because he's trying to like just pop a shot. Like, fuck him. Oh, I hate artillery so much. God. Anyway, armored warfare guys. If you guys are still watching this, this is why I hate artillery. No one hit me the entire game, except for the Z100, except for artillery, and now I'm dead. That's why Armored Warfare will never put artillery into PvP games. God bless them, and why artillery sucks so hard in this game. So much. 
so much. Fuck, I hate it. I hate Artie. They're the fucking worst. The worst people play artillery. Just awful, awful, awful people. Awful. And if you're either on, you play World of Tanks and you play Artie and you're watching this, I don't apologize. Just, just stop playing Artie. You deserve this abuse. <laughs> ah, man. Stupid artillery. I mean, it really was my fault. I mean, I overplayed myself. I overextended myself too much uh, without a repair kit, which is another must in World of Tanks. Always have a repair kit, which is something I don't have and will never have just because I don't want to spend money on it. Um, but yeah, if you're playing free-to-play like I am, you're not, you know, you're not a premium player. Well, even if you're a premium player, like if you're a premium player, then, you know, whatever, but if you're not a premium player, it's imperative that you have repair kits designed to where those things are absolutely necessary. And I just don't use them, so that's why I get into so much trouble. Oh, well. what we can do in Pali. Going the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> uh, the city of love. Oh well. Time to kill people. Uh, there's one artillery on the enemy teams at M44. Not a fan of that vehicle. Not a fan of the fact that it's one of the best artillery pieces at tier 6. Not a fan, even though it's a city map. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. I'm just not a fan. Yeah, the... There's an IS-2, there's... I thought I saw a Polish heavy tank. Maybe I didn't. Um... I'm the only one working this position, so... Oh yeah, I did. 45 TP. There it is. That's Polish for... 45 tons of Poland. Oh, and none of them have actually come around the bend here. I don't know what they're doing. The IS-2 is going to be the first to advance. And he's just going to eat it. <laughs> 395 damage. It's a high roll for us. Wait for them to both pull back completely. Hit him again for 400! Oh man, when will he learn? Get out of my way, boy. So I don't usually talk like that. Just, the clout got me. Oh, shit. I'm up on the, up on the bridge support there. See, so yeah, this is a pretty good position to defend. That Polish tank wants to pull up so bad. What? And he pulls up and saves the IS-2 with his track. But he doesn't even get tracked. How insulting. Whoa. I just blocked damage from my own tank destroyer and from the Tiger. And now it's turning into a more serious fight. Got him. 428. What? Alright, maybe 395 was a low roll. I don't play the IS enough to know what the hell the rolls are. I'll just take all this free damage that they're just giving me. I don't care. I haven't had to load premium yet, so I'm feeling pretty good. I 
that we're gonna lose. Damn. That was a miss and a half. Get spotted, but who cares, right? Like, <laughs> of course we got spotted. There's the Tiger P. Our forces are beginning to thin now. This is bad for us. Oh god, now there's only three of us and we're all working in this one corner. Alright, so I tracked that guy. That really doesn't do much. I'm gonna try to pull back and support this guy. It was like that. I don't know when that stopped recording, I'm sorry, but um, we got rushed. We got rushed, and <laughs> I couldn't defend our tank destroyer too too well. But I'll take 1800 damage, I mean, it's okay, it's not the best, you know, it's not great, but it's something. I hope this counts, I hope I was in the top 10 of my experience. Please be f in vain. Only 420 base XP. That's how you know it was bad. Hey, but I got second place, so... That should count towards the mission. Only made 3,000 credits, though. Not a lot. That's not good. It did count. Nice. Again, I'm not a great player. I mean, I don't really think I need to say that. Like, I think it's apparent. But... The IS is an okay tank. The KB-85 is a good tank. So the fact that I'm just working these two vehicles is doing all right. It's the reason I'm not doing too terrible. And they are good vehicles. I mean, I'm not a fan of the IS. IS-1, really, but it's just the IS here. But it's okay. It's okay, it does its job effectively, especially with the 122 derp. Because at tier 6 it just felt great. But ever since I changed it, I've gotten better matchmaking out of my KB-85, as well as just better gameplay. So, you know, I'm happy to make the trade. I'm happy to play this tank with just a 100. I don't know why it spawned me over here. I gotta go all the way around. Make sure nothing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the only place heavy tanks can really operate on this map. I mean, it's no secret. E6. That's where I'll be. That's where we'll all be. Literally, the KB2. The. What is that? And IS1. KB122, Tiger P, all of them. We'll all be over there. MX-12 is already dead. Yeah, he, uh, he, bit the, he bit it there. Let heavies pull out to you. Ah ha ha ha. That AMX. Cool. So I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what the hell the team is doing in the chat right now. Uh, the KV-122 is literally my tank right now. With the 122mm howitzer and it just gets premium. I don't know why that was introduced into the game. It's just annoying, <laughs> but at, at tier seven, I don't know why that's introducing the game at tier seven. It should just be at tier six, like all the others. I'm gonna try to be sneaky here. Nice. Take that shot. No! Oh, I wasn't already safe. This is why I I hate this. I hate already. I hate them so much. They're so annoying. Come of the earth, arty players. God, fucking sky cancer. 
just the worst. The worst people play artillery. Like, only the worst people play artillery. These fucking point and click sons of bitches. If you can't tell, <laughs> I hate artillery. Okay, I have no gun depression, but I do have armor, so that saves me there. Yeah, well, Russian tanks just gonna get into ridiculous positions like this just to get, like, the cannons to work. Alright. This is gonna end well for us. The C-34-100 is trying to, like, Come around. I don't think he'll make it though. Come on. Do it. Do it. No, nope. he's smarter than me. I would have done it. Oh shit, what the hell? I didn't even know I was spotted. Oh, because he's spotting me. Oh, that's what you get for spotting me, isn't it, you punk weasel? We're using the same gun. Oh, uh, what a waste of a game. What a waste of a game. I suck so hard there. Oh, I mean, nobody in that position really did anything. Except for this guy, our Tiger P. He was the only one who was doing any work over here, and I feel bad because I should have supported him better. Artillery takes him out. <sighs> it's not the honored. Oh well, let's uh <laughs> let's try to just go back to the IS. I mean there's other vehicles I could use. I'm sure. I mean, I got all my tier 6 and tier 7 tanks out here right now. Because those are the ones I'm looking to play. Um, you know what? Now that I say that, let me play something unique. Something chic. Something boutique. Mm, it's going to be the Poodle. One of my favorite tanks in the game. It's just a panther that the Poles stole during the Warsaw Uprising. Uh, it's a real tank that really existed. This is one of the only cool premium tanks, so I bought it. Uh, it didn't do a lot in the Warsaw Uprising. Anybody that knows that history, uh, this tank was obliterated by the German troops. All of them. And the Poodle a really dangerous trend during the Warsaw Uprising that the Germans um, kind of preyed upon. And that was, they realized that the Poles enjoyed, during the 60 days, taking armored vehicles. They had the two trophies being this S SDKFZ-251, which is a, um, Panzer, it's not a Panzer Force, it's this little, room, it's not a, it's a little tank that was used to plant mines. And, uh, they took that armored vehicle, looks like a tractor, and they put it in the middle of the square. Fully armed, ready to blow, you know. Uh, except for laying mines, it was to snare Polish uh, partisans, and it worked. The Poles took it, they were really excited, they were like, we now have a third tank to use against the uh, Nazi opposition during this conflict, and they brought it to a town square, they started painting it up like they did with the Poodle, it was like this big celebration, it was just like when they got the Poodle of the SDKFZ, and right at that moment, SS operatives remotely detonated the mine charge that it was carrying, instantly killing everybody in this town square. And it was just brutal. <laughs> and they did the same thing to the Pudo when they took it out. Um, they really went after the Poles with their armored vehicles. However, the Poodle lasted longer than most tanks, or most anything in that conflict. And so it can be said that it's one of the first real Polish home army vehicles, which is why I have it, it's pretty cool.
on the back here, which is a cool little detail, they have a PIAT or PIAT British anti tank gun on it, which is a callback to some of the Allied weapons that surfaced, which is very rare, but some of them did surface from airdrops during the Warsaw um, Uprising that the Poles used to combat the uh, Nazi regime. So, altogether, it's pretty cool. The heavies would move up and help. That would be nice. Damn it. I cannot believe I sent an OI and an IS. Two ISs, and none of them decided to fire on that T29. And I just gave the whole history of this tank just to survive for eight seconds? Oh my god. God. Well, anyway, the Pudel, when it's at top tier, or even when it faces tier sevens, is one of the great, like, just completely stupid, like those two Russian heavies we had, and they shoot at nothing and don't do their job because they're just ridiculous. Can't you can't help that. You can't help who your teammates are, and you're just gonna suck it. You're just gonna have to eat it. So I just had to eat that game. Just... That sucked. Anyway, it looks like our KV85 is out of that shit show. We're so close. We're so close to stage two. It really should not be taking this long, but when you're doing as badly as I am, you can. Eh, it makes you want to play like the T34 100, which is a good tank, or the Leo, which is also a good tank. I don't have the upgraded gun for the Leo, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, well. Hopefully, I'll have a good team. I mean, that team was just an anomaly, I guess. But oh well. What are you going to do about it? <sighs> well, hey, at least we're on Abbey. Something. Abbey's going to be playing the middle. We're playing the town because Swedish tanks, as you know, get crazy good. <sighs> Open that, it's not so bad. Make it more of a tank song. Oh wow, okay. I thought, I thought it was a glitch, but tank is going for a hot minute. Okay, here we go. So yeah, the Leo is a pretty good medium tank. I, that's all I have to say about it. Like, I fought it a lot. It's decent. I have not played it a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> the games that I have played have been decent. So I don't really know too much about the Swedish mediums. I have no idea. I know they're gonna introduce later this year um, a full line all the way to tier 10 of Swedish media, which is why I'm grinding this one. Um, we'll see how it goes. I can hit this T20 and I can't. Oh, oh, I, I overextended myself and now I'm stuck. Hopefully they won't see me. Oh, who spotted me? Got spotted by a light tank in the town. Let's see if I can see him. So not a starling start to this um, this game. I was like so dead set on getting. That's another thing I do that's not so great. Well, the tanks is like I know the positions I should I should play, so I just go to them. Like I know I should be in the town. I got good gun depression. I got a fast rate of fire. I'm lightly armored town. 
now that I'm in the town, you can see I didn't set anything up for myself. And so now I have no idea what to shoot at. I was hoping some of these heavy tanks would like come out into the open. None of them have. Looks like we're about to get routed. I'm gonna get spotted again. Oh wow, they already moved further in than I could. Than I can hit. Yeah, I was just gonna hit him from here, but it looks like that. So yeah, so far in this game, I've done nothing. But I kind of changed that. I'm going to speed. Take the brakes. I'm going to speed back this way and try to shoot at medium tanks. I do want to fight with this guy, though. Well, hey, I get an assist for that, but not when I die, it seems like. Great, I'm stuck on something. Just getting shredded while I'm stuck here. And I missed that shot, and I'm dead. Definitely a loss for us. How these medium tanks moved all the way down the 8 line without any opposition, I don't know. Because I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm a bad player. And I just... I have zero situational awareness. That's what I do. Maybe because it's, the more I drink, the worse I play. No idea. And that's the best place to be. Not knowing something is the first step to truly enjoying it. Because you have no idea what's, you know, what's wrong with it. If you can't tell what's bad, is anything bad? The answer is no. That's a little, that's some life advice you can take with you. That's just for you. Kind of silly when they gave each map its own soundtrack as part of Update 1.0, but uh, I actually like it. Like ultimately, I like it. Nice. Somebody wants to be in a platoon with me. That's great. Making friends. That's their mistake. <laughs> um, they're probably doing a mission. I'm just gonna move up to the two line and. Um, do whatever. Do what I always do. Hold down, fight off at the enemy. Try to fight off the enemy anyway. I was here earlier this morning in the KV-85, and I mean I had a pretty good run, so I'm hoping that that you know that I have a good run all the same here. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Wow, he's getting hit by Artie. I don't want to be out here anymore. I'm scared out. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ow. Fuck it. That has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, wow. Wait, I wasn't even spotted. How did Artie even... Great. Artie's just gonna... Artie's just gonna shell the fuck out of me at this point. And then I'm dead. Not even spotted. This is why I hate Artie. Right here is why I hate Artie. 
I just died for no reason. I wasn't even spotted. They're just blind firing and they're able to kill me. That is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I cannot fucking deal with it. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I went to Armored Warfare. Okay, so it didn't crash, so I hope this video is still recording. But we did lose connection to the server. Anyway, if it didn't crash and this video is recording, fuck Artie. Piece of shit, fucking mechanic, fucking class to have. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it. God, I cannot believe- I can't believe that. Like, usually you get spotted and already pegged. What even is that about? <sighs> I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I've, I haven't had that happen to me in years. Where already just kills you out of nowhere with no spots, no engagement, no- No anything. Just completely on accident. Just kills you. It's been years for me since that happened. And it's honestly, because of it, I forgot how bad Artie was. Or is, rather. Fuck Artie. Fair enough. Hopefully this can get better. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. But they have two Artie, so probably not. This is a great map. I love this new addition. It's the Polish map. Not only does it have a great soundtrack, as you just heard, but it's also good for heavies to hold down in this little factory area right over here, the CMD lines. Now I'm going to try to position myself in the factory, because I don't think they have any tanks heavy enough to oppose me there. The FCM 50T is not going to be able to do it, and their KV-2 is pretty much nothing compared to the 122mm gun I have, so... I feel pretty confident that going up this line and just hanging out. Oh man, this defender wants it so bad. I hope I can make it there before he gets there. Oh, wait, is that an accordion? I don't know the defender had an accordion on it. Yeah, okay, so he's doing exactly what I want to do. Bitch. Got there first. So I'm just gonna go to this side. Try to angle myself a little. Wait for that KV-2 to show up, or some other tank. I didn't even notice that they had an IS on their team. Alright, well we're getting some good hits on him, so... Hey, whatever, right? This is why I like this map. You just play this position in a heavy tank, you're gonna be fine. You'll, you'll be having a good game. Ooh, I thought I was gonna kill him. Reloading! As this T-28 comes around the side here somehow. I don't know why that didn't hit. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire! He hit me twice, what a jerk! Oh Jesus, H. Krebus. Well, that's... <laughs> that's it for me. That's game, because now, yeah, Artie's just gonna fucking slap him into me. I fucking hate Artie so much. Fucking stupid fucking Artie, man. Fucking. I'm gonna be cursing this whole time on artillery. I guess that's what makes me good at World of Tanks. My primal artillery rage. I 
that IS is still over there, but oh, somebody spotted me. Why don't you do something, Object T28? Like, why don't you just do something? Shit? Oh, there's another KV2 wants to hit me so bad. There goes the EBR doing whatever. So afraid right now. The KVT doesn't even have to look at me to kill me. Yep, see, I didn't even spot him. Didn't even spot him, and he still hit me. How I didn't spot that KV2, I don't understand. He's right there, he's right in front of me. We all know where he is, but whatever. Thanks for nothing, Wargaming. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What a shitty game. This T28 hasn't done fucking anything for our team. At all. At all. What's the defender doing? OP tanks just doing his best. Hopefully we'll be able to contribute a little bit more and we'll secure a win. But with 3 to 11? That seems pretty impossible. And this guy's at 6%. What did he do? What did you do, Papa K? What did you do? You didn't do anything. I needed you. <laughs> you did nothing. Oh well. It happens. It's really not his fault. Like, I'm not actually blaming him for anything. Sometimes you just get a shitty draw. They really hit my defender hard, huh? You really don't have to say or watch this, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. This thing is so OP, I wanna see what it does. Can't do much, not with already hammering him like that. And there's the KV2 to get a good hit on him. Wow, it's a tier 6 Italian medium that finally killed him. That sucks. Oh well. What a shitty game. Ooh, got a reward though. Common Cruise skin. Audrey DuPont. Born in Marseille, Audrey joined the French resistance and was assigned to the tank forces in France. As invaded, she wears an axe for close combat, which discourages enemy attacks. Okay. An axe. Natural cover gives all crew members a concealment skill trained to 100%. Hmm, that's a nice reward. I'll take that shit. Then we got a battle buddy medal. That's all I care about. This is being a battle buddy. How much more do we have? Please, not a lot. Oh, it's so close I can taste it. Whew, I just gotta get into better games or be a better player. It's probably the second one. I'm gonna be a better player. Mm. 
I've been playing this for a pretty long time now, though. Uh, you know what? I think that's going to be the last game for now. I uh, will do more of the Mission Marathon. I might do shorter videos. Uh, sober. Mm, for the rest of the marathon. Just little quips here and there of World of Tanks. Uh, just to give a diversity not only to what I play, but also show other players what World of Tanks is like. And just kind of get them involved in it. Uh, if you watched it this far, if you've actually stayed throughout all this gameplay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support, and I really appreciate it. Throw up a like if you enjoy this content, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.